OK, now it's all about special salads and fabulous fruits. Perfect for special occasions. Cooking at home for special occasions falls into two camps. Sit-down affairs where the food's a bit more formal and relaxed parties where dishes are laid out and people can choose what they want to eat and when. If you're cooking for a party, always make dishes that are colourful, vibrant and exciting to eat. So you'll grab your guests' attention and really wow their taste buds. My first dish has plenty of attitude. Enough for any special occasion. A flavour-packed green papaya salad. This is a great salad to serve at a party. It's delicious and robust enough to last the whole evening without wilting. First off, these are a little dried shrimp. You can buy them anywhere. They smell almost sort of of the seabed into the pestle mortar. For this salad, inspired by my travels across Thailand, I'm starting by making a wonderfully spicy paste. A little salt in there. In. Just break them up. This paste is like a staple ingredient in Thailand. That's what we're looking for. Almost. It's like a powder. Right, next. Just one clove of garlic. Slice up the garlic. And get that into the pestle mortar. Bird's eye chilli, incredibly hot, powerful, but wow, it does give an amazing kick to the paste. In to the mix. Now, a couple of tablespoons of brown caster sugar. That softens the blow with the chilli. And then, just to get that nice sour taste, a little bit of hot water into this tamarind paste. It's a really tart but sweet paste. One tablespoon in. Fish sauce. Now, it's got that almost sort of pickly smell, slightly salty, but the flavour is intense. Two tablespoons in. Bring that together and give it a really good mix. Some lime juice in half. Another touch of sort of tartness. So the paste is nice and thick and fragrant, but it's got the heat, the sourness, the tartness. Incredible. Green papaya. Stand it up and give it a little peel. You can find green papaya in local Asian shops and bigger supermarkets. And as it doesn't wilt like more delicate veg, it's perfect for robust salads like this. I'm going to grate it. And look, that's what I want. These thin slithers. Next, a nice, rich, sweet banana shallot. Nice. Some carrot. Carrot gives it another texture. Now, little that and mix it. Finish that off with Thai basil and fresh coriander. Thai basil is a much more fragrant basil. It's stronger and it's slightly thicker as well. Like the pie and tamarind paste, you can get Thai basil in good supermarkets and independent Asian stores, but normal basil works well too. Next, prepare the crunchy topping. Pan on and toast some peanuts. Chop the nuts, but it gives a really nice crunch. In they go. Roll them around the pan. Gas off and just tip them out. Now for the exciting part. We're going to dress the salad. Nice spoon of dressing in to the papaya. Mix that in. And then finally, a nice general sprinkling of roasted nuts. And that is one delicious, very fragrant, very robust green papaya salad. So easy to make and guaranteed not to go limp. A perfect party salad. And with such incredible colours, textures and bold, exciting flavours, it's sure to grab your guests' attention. When you're putting together a feast for the family or friends, it's great to have some bulletproof salads in your cooking repertoire. Here are three more of my favourites to set you up. First, my delicious chopped salad. Slice cherry tomatoes in half and add to the bowl, along with chopped red pepper and finely diced shallots. Next, slice salami into strips and add. 
Follow with nutty chickpeas and smooth Edam cheese. Cut into matchsticks, building up different tastes, textures and flavours as you go. Next, add chicory for a deliciously bitter bite. Then chop crisp romaine lettuce and add. For the dressing, finely chop garlic, add cherry vinegar, a shake of spicy Worcestershire sauce, cast the sugar and olive oil, then simply whisk. Pour the dressing over the salad and mix so that everything is thoroughly coated. Finally, sprinkle with dried oregano for an aromatic finish. A salad so easy, if you can chop, you can make it. With such delicious results, it has to be tasted to be believed. My next simple salad that's perfect for a party is green bean salad with mustard dressing. For the dressing, wrap a whole bulb of garlic in foil and roast it in a hot oven. Next, add top and tail green beans to salted boiling water and cook for just a couple of minutes. This is called blanching and keeps the beans deliciously crunchy. Strain the beans and refresh in cold water. This stops the cooking process so they stay crisp and green. Next, remove your garlic from the oven. Cut off the head and squeeze out all the glorious garlic, which has gone creamy, mellow and divine in the oven. Then simply add sharp white wine vinegar, a dollop of Dijon mustard and sweet runny honey. Season and pour in a good glug of olive oil. Then whisk. Add the crunchy blanched green beans and top with toasted almonds for a lovely nutty note and crunchy texture. Mix well and serve. Heavenly mustard vinaigrette with a hit of mellow roast garlic. Stunning green beans dressed to perfection. My next salad that's great for any big bash is roasted red pepper, lentil and herb salad. Three lentils to vegetable stock, along with a bay leaf and boil for 15 minutes. Three lentils are perfect for salads. They have a great meaty flavour and a delicious bite for texture. Next, chop sweet red peppers and place on a baking tray, along with diced courgette. Drizzle over olive oil, season and roast in a hot oven. To assemble the salad, Place the drained lentils in a large bowl. Then add olive oil. And chop some blushed tomatoes. Take the roasted red peppers and courgettes from the oven and add. Along with chopped avocado, as its delicious creamy flesh gives the salad a lovely contrast. Season. Then for a big herby hit, chop a handful of chives and basil and add. Squeeze over lemon juice and mix. Earthy, aromatic and packed full of goodness. Absolutely stunning, served with roasted meats and fish or perfect eaten just by itself. Three incredible salads, all bursting with flavour, colour and health. So quick and easy to prep and utterly delicious. You'll be making them every day, not just on a special occasion. Nice. Welcome back to my ultimate cookery course. Coming up, I'll be using fabulous fruits to create a show-stopping dessert. Every time I get to put one of these together, it's like a sort of little jewellery box. But first, the key to dishes that really impress is amazingly fresh ingredients, and it's essential to get the best for your money when you're out shopping. So, make sure whatever you're buying, it looks, smells and feels really good. And if you get the chance, then taste it before you buy it. Great tasting salad starts with fantastic salad leaves. And when it comes to all things green, there's little Dr. Steve Rothwell doesn't know. I think I am obsessed with salad. I'm obsessed primarily with watercress. That, 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 that's in my heart, because, you know, I've got a PhD in watercress. A 
doctorate in salad? We should all take a leaf out of his book then. He's not only been studying salad leaves for over 30 years, he's been growing them, so he really knows his rocket from his romaine. There are literally thousands of varieties of salad. Things like Batavian lettuce, red vein spinach, wild rocket, sorrel. We grow virtually everything outdoors and, and we follow the seasons. So we're not forcing the leaves. We don't give them too much fertilizer or irrigation. We, we try to grow them a little bit slower. And that's the way to get the best flavor and the best quality of leaf. We'll harvest a crop, cut it in the morning, and it's then on the road going out to customers to be on the shelf the next day. This is a great leaf, baby leaf spinach, and we call it baby leaf, you know, quite literally, because we cut it when it's still at a baby stage. These are baby pea shoots. We'll put something like three or 400 pea seeds into the seed bed, and then in as little as 12, 14 days, they've grown to a sort of a crop like this. They've got the flavor of fresh peas, a bit of sweetness, and, they, and they've got a really nice soft velvety leaf texture. This is baby watercress, which is my favorite salad crop of them all. Watercress is special because by definition, it's grown in pure flowing water. Fresh watercress has got that fantastic pungent peppery flavor. In Victorian London, it was known as poor man's bread, whereby a lot of workers would start the day with a watercress sandwich. And if they couldn't afford bread, they just ate the watercress straight. And it is amazing, full of flavor. I can't eat enough. Salad Obsessed Steve's spot on. There's hundreds of salad leaves available with different textures, tastes and colours. Here are five of my favourite everyday salad leaves and don't forget, some of them are delicious cooked too. Little gem, sweet and crisp and an amazingly dense heart. These mini cos lettuces are great simply braised in the oven or use the leaves as scoops for a delicious chilli beef filling. Mustard leaves, pungent, spicy, and full of vitamin C. These are a staple in Asian dishes and are fantastic stir-fried or steamed. Lamb's leaf, full of tangy flavor and with incredible springy stems. Great for hearty, robust salads or simply paired with fish for a healthier, simple supper. Rocket, these distinctive peppery leaves are actually classed as a herb and are perfect in soups or with fruits and are full of iron. Finally, chicory or endive. These tightly packed red or white leaves have a deliciously bitter taste and are great wrapped in ham or alongside sharp blue cheeses. I think when you're shopping for salads, you can just shop with your eyes. You know, if it looks fresh and, and healthy, tasty, it is. You want to look for bright colors. I like to see leaves with a bit of moisture on them. Salads like to be kept cold and moist, basically. So when you buy a pack of salad, put it in the fridge. And if you don't use it all in one go, roll up the bag to exclude surplus air, put it back in the fridge, keep it cold. There's so much choice variety out there. I really do think people should be more adventurous in their choice of salads, you know, both what they choose to try and eat and, and what they do with them. So get yourself some ingredients, use them boldly, and your salad leaves can really take center stage. Next, my tricks of the trade and kitchen tips. Scallops are a fantastic ingredient when you want a special salad that really impresses. Here's how to prepare them. Do not be intimidated trying to get the scallop out. I'm going to show you how easy it is to take them out and how much more exciting it is to get them fresh in the shell. So just basically a dessert spoon and a blunt knife. Put the knife in to the bottom and you just twist. Open. Tilt the knife up so it doesn't cut into the scallop meat. Run the knife from the top to the base. Off with the lid, no flesh on there. And then from there, that's called the scallop skirt. All you do is just peel that forward and get the spoon to run down the back of the shell. And the idea is to remove that little bit of muscle that holds the scallop onto the bottom shell. Bang, it pops out. That's the top, the small side of the bottom. There's the muscle there, and your thumb just slides neatly in there and run your fingers round. And you just pop out scallop and look bang beautiful this bit here is called the skirt no use doesn't taste anything now that's the coral you can slice that off dry it in the oven and use it as a powder for your risottos or even seasoning fish with but that's the money these just need to be rinsed under cold water dried and ready for the pan tomatoes are another salad staple here's how to skin them for extra refinement 
score each one with a cross at the bottom, blanch in boiling water for a minute, then shot them in cold water and the skins will easily peel away. Pomegranates are a fabulous fruit for adding glamour to salads or desserts. The trick to getting the seeds out, slice in half lengthways, make slits around the edge, turn upside down over a bowl, and using a large spoon, whack as hard as you can to release the seeds. To take fabulous fruit puts to the next level, my tip is to add sophisticated quenelles of ice cream or lemon mascarpone. Simply dip two metal spoons in hot water, scoop, shape, and add. And after baking, never throw out your leftover pastry. It's easily transformed into grapefruit or savoury party nibbles. Roll out, grate parmesan or sprinkle over your favourite fruit. Roll and then just slice and bake. As any chef knows, at the end of a meal, you want to leave your guests on a high with a spectacular dessert. So, when you're cooking for a special occasion and want to make an impact, it's great to have a fabulous fruit dessert up your sleeve. My last recipe looks sensational and tastes just as good. Raspberry milfoy. Desserts should always have that wow factor. And this dish is incredibly simple to prepare, but it tastes and looks absolutely stunning. First off, puff pastry. You can buy fabulous puff pastry. Now, a non-stick baking tray and just lay the puff pastry on the tray. I want to get the top of the puff pastry caramelised, so we're going to dust it in icing sugar. Now, milfoy means a thousand layers. Just lightly dust the top of the puff pastry with icing sugar. We're going to start off in a hot oven at 220. For the first six or seven minutes, and then 10 minutes at 190. Into the oven. Now for the filling. Fresh vanilla. Cream in and start whisking. Want the cream whisked nice and thick. But look, got all that nice fresh vanilla seeds in there. Next, a nice scraping of orange zest, orange liqueur. Don't whisk that in, fold it in, and that stops the cream from separating. Lovely. Now, take that out of the bowl and put it into a piping bag. Unwrap over your hand in a way that you're creating this little pocket. Snip off the end, nozzle in, load up your bag. Just twist slowly. There's no air. The bag is nice and full and firm. Nice. Chill your gorgeous vanilla and orange cream in the fridge until you're ready to pipe it. Wow. That is beautiful. There's the layers there. That's the, the milfoy pub. Gently lift it up onto the board. I'm going to slice it into three. Serrated edge knife. Whoa. Beautiful. Start deciding on how you're going to layer it. That bit there. That's nice and firm for my base. That's nice and decorative for the top. And that bit there for the middle. Take out your cream. And put a little touch of cream there. And that just sticks that down, stops it from sliding. Pipe very carefully a nice thin layer of cream round the outside and come back into the middle. Beautiful. Now, the raspberries. Sit them two by two. Now, this layer, I'm going to turn it upside down and put the caramelised part of the pastry on top of the raspberries. Every time I get to put one of these together, it's like a sort of little jewellery box. Again, cream 
squeeze from the back of the bag. So you've got control. The raspberries. Two by two. I just want to put another layer of cream on top of those raspberries. Because I want some height with my final layer. Whoa. I just want to dive in there. Put the lid on it. Mmm. And push that down. There you have a beautiful, stunning, simple millefeuille. A dessert to die for. And like all the dishes in my ultimate cookery course, I guarantee it will taste as sensational as it looks. I've now shown you 100 recipes to stake your life on. Smells amazing. Simple and accessible dishes. Look at that. To give you confidence in the kitchen. Hold the drum and slice straight through. And help cook yourself into a better chef. Really important to season the mince before you cook it. I've shared essential tips and insider knowledge. They don't actually smell much, but the flavour they give off is extraordinary. On everything from shopping for great ingredients. Don't be frightened. Get your nose right into it. To my kitchen equipment essentials. The secret of braising is having a really nice, thick, durable pan. And my ultimate cooking lessons, key mantras to make you fearless in the kitchen. Stripping away all the complexity so you can whip up tasty and delicious dishes with ease. Just finish it with a little tablespoon of that sauce. And most importantly, learn to enjoy cooking at home. Incredible. Many of these amazing recipes are on my app. Please check out the App Store for details. So what are you waiting for? Go on, get cooking. <laughs>